Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain what a megabyte is, what a gigabyte is, what a terabyte is to help you when you're shopping for a cell phone or a cell phone plan. But the first thing we're going to talk about is what a byte is and before we do that we have to talk about what a bit is. So a bit is a zero or a one. Computers are made up of zeros and ones. There are eight bits in a byte. There are 1,000 bytes in a kilobyte. There are 1,000 kilobytes in one megabyte. There are 1,000 megabytes in one gigabyte. There are 1,000 gigabytes in one terabyte. And then it goes to petabyte, exabyte, zettabyte, and yottabyte. Yeah, but for our, for our purposes, we don't really need to go beyond the terabyte at this point. I mean, some cell phones are starting to come out with one terabyte variants, which is just a massive amount of storage space, which you mm -hmm. probably don't need. Uh, cell phone plans, mostly in gigabytes right now when you're talking about cellular data. Right, so it's interesting. When we talk about cellular data plans, we're talking gigabytes. But when we're talking about download speeds, we're talking about megabits and not megabytes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of cell phone companies are advertising the fact we have 50 megabit download speeds or your cable internet provider says 100 megabits down. That is not megabytes, those are megabits. They talk about that in bits, even though nobody else does ever. <laughs> because it's a bigger number. Yep. So you could take whatever number they're telling you and divide it by eight, because there's eight bits in a byte, and that's how many megabytes download speed. So those of you who have been telling your friends that you have 100 megabyte download speeds, you don't. Yeah, it's you have 12 and a half. Well, it's a play downloads. for them to say, hey, look how fast our speeds are. You know, it's more impressive than saying, you know, we have 0. 0.0005 speeds. Right. So they're going to charge you in gigabytes, but they're going to tell you that the speeds are in gigabits. It's whatever makes it look good for them. Yep. I don't know if you've ever bought a hard drive, too. And maybe you've realized that when you format it, there's actually less storage available than it said in the box. And it's because a megabyte, there's this kind of controversy about it, whether it's either two to the 20th which is like ones and zeros and computers work like that. So it's two to the 20th power, which is very close to 1 million, but not exactly. Or if it's actually 1 million bytes. Hard drive companies will always sell you hard drives that use the one megabyte is 1 million bytes equation and not one megabyte equals one or two to the 20th power bytes equation because it makes it seem like it's bigger. Yeah, it's a marketing move. It's a marketing move, yeah, yeah and it can be confusing. Yeah, so in regards to cell phones and cell phone plans, if you're looking for a cell phone, obviously gigabytes, if you have megabytes is not gonna be enough for your cell phone, obviously. Not anymore. Uh, 64 is usually a pretty good baseline for you, 64 gigabytes of storage space, mm -hmm. good for most people. Cell phone plans, the average user uses about three gigabytes of data per month, so think about that when you're going to pick a cell phone plan. There are ways to track how much cellular data you use on an iPhone. Most carriers have apps that do that too. So now that you know more about megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes, head to upphone.com where you can compare every phone, every plan from every carrier in the United States. Link in a card above in the description section below. And go to your snotty relatives who think they know everything about tech and just ask them, so how fast are your internet download speeds at home? And they'll say like, oh, we have 50 megabytes per second. And you'll be like, no, you don't. You have 50 megabits per second, which is 50 divided by eight, which is 6.25 megabytes per second. So good. let me know how that works out That's good you. math. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones and plans. You have 50 divided by eight megabytes per second, which is 6.25, something that like that. That sounds about right, yeah. Okay. No. We'll go with that. No, that's not even close to right. Is wait it a right? minute, six, wait a minute. It's 12 and... Yeah, that's right. It is? That's okay. perfect. I was right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, here we go. I'm keeping this part. Great. <laughs> now that you know more...